reserving that option through the licensing, uh, early second bit licensing. Uh, so, no decision has been made. Uh, Ed also talked about energy efficiency. You know, AMRI is committed to energy efficiency. I believe we spent over $20 million uh, in last year in energy efficiency. In energy efficiency, we have the ability to control demand side uh, energy flows, the stuff that we make. We don't necessarily have the ability to control what you use. We, uh, we can educate and we can encourage. We can't control, nor should we control. Uh, we have made uh, a lot of dramatic improvements on our power plants, even that 1953 Chevy there, we made uh, improvements to try to improve the efficiency of those plants. Our own Callaway plant, we replaced our steam turbine rotors uh, several years ago, picked up 55 megawatts, which is really a huge amount of energy, just on efficiency. No additional fuel burn, just a more efficient machine. We've done similar changes at all of our fossil plants with, uh, with new uh, high-performance turbine rotors. But there's only so much you can do. What I hear Ed saying is we should continue to drive that 53 Chevy or the or the 69 Chevy or the 1972 Chevy versus being like other progressive states like Florida, Georgia, and replace those plants with new state-of-the-art, highly efficient plants. Ed talked a little bit about uh, radiological emissions. And yes, a nuclear power plant does release small amounts of radioactive material. One thing we use in our industry we call Alera, a low, as low as reasonably achievable. We don't emit what the federal government allows. We emit the very least amount. I believe our, and, and you can go look and see, this is a very transparent uh, industry. You can go to the NRC website and you can look at every nuclear power plant in the country and look at what emissions were released over the period of years. What we emit from that plant is fractions, uh, less than 10% of what's allowed. Ed mentioned tritium, uh, and tritium's been in the news a lot. You know, tritium is a naturally occurring radioactive element. It occurs in nature from cosmic ray interactions with the atmosphere, and yes, nuclear power plants do produce small amounts of tritium. Uh, it's been in the news a little bit. Lately, I, I just wanted to calculate what, you know, to put it in perspective for people, what we release to the environment in tritium. So I, I took our 2009 numbers, uh, which in 2009, we released 743 curies of tritium. Curie is a, is a measure of energy, and that's the issue with radiological materials, it's energy. If you calculate what that would be in, in physical material, it's about four and a half drops of material from an average eyedropper, about 0.23 milliliters. We took that four point four and a half drops, and we mixed it with 204 million gallons of water at the plant during dilutions. And then that water flowed to the river and was mixed with one 1,362 billion gallons of water to where it's in an unmeasurable state. Uh, tritium occurs naturally. There's tritium in that glass of water I'm drinking right there. If I can measure down to, to that level, you would find small amounts of tritium. And numerous experts have agreed there's been no health effects from any of the tritium found from plants. Uh, with that said, it's a public confidence issue for our industry that we're addressing in a, in a rapid fashion. Uh, we had minor tritium leakage at the Callaway plant. We replaced our entire line to the river uh, to ensure that didn't happen again. Let's talk a little bit about, a little bit about construction work in progress, what that really is. Uh, there's a law passed back in 1976, as Ed mentioned. Uh, it was passed in a time where nuclear energy was a new Technology. People were unsure about it. Is the plant going to be done? So that law was passed. What was the consumer protection given to the ratepayers in Missouri for that? About an increase of $1 billion that you're paying today as a result of that construction work in progress law. 30 seconds. And construction work in progress doesn't just apply to nuclear plants. We just finished a large environmentalist project at our Port of Sioux plant. Uh, it was about a $600 million project. It just went into rates. The cost because of construction work in progress to you over the next uh, 30 years is approximately $100 million because we could not pay as you go on that. When you buy things on a credit card, they cost more. And that's what construction work in progress for
forces us to do. Thank you.